It's Saturday, July 21st, 2012. Welcome back to the Ryan Knows Check channel. I'm still here. I'm still alive. I promise. It's been a long time since I've made a video on this channel. Upwards of two months, I think. Um, last time we were here talking about Sparrow for Mac. Some news with that. Google bought it, so I don't really know where that's going. They released an update a couple days ago. All that did was totally screw up the push notifications, so... That's how Google does stuff. Anyways, kind of a channel update here. It's been a long time, so I'm going to flip through a couple things. Bear with me. I haven't made a video here in a while. Anyways, Tech Inform, we're still here. We're still here, if I can talk. Um, I haven't had a lot of time to do stuff, but we've got all new posts here. We've done a lot of stuff behind the scenes, making little things that haven't matched up, haven't lined up, colors have been wrong. A lot of stuff in HTML and CSS, which I took a class in and I, I never really did too well. But... Uh, we've made progress. We've got new posts up talking about um, iOS 6. We've got betas going on, which is going to support the 3GS, the 4 and the 4S. So there's some information if you haven't read anything else. Anyways, Tech Inform's still there. That's good news. And then uh, here on the channel, we're up to 3,743 subscribers, which is awesome. Thank you so much for all of that support. Looks like the last video I made was just two months ago uh, with Sparrow. Before that, it was the battery pack, which I remember making that battery pack review after my uh, college visit vacation to Southern California in March. Um, three weeks in July, actually June and into July, have been very busy for me, kind of on a personal level here. I actually helped my father move from here in Cleveland, Akron, Ohio, to San Diego, California. He's wanted to live there for a long time, so have I ever since I went out a couple years ago. Um, so he's out there right now, and I actually drove his car out there with Kenan, uh, one of my good friends. We drove out for four days. Um, as you can see, I, I took a, a couple photos across the country here from Ohio. We took the northern route 80 west, and I'll tell you, once you get west of Colorado, it is just drop dead. Beautiful, gorgeous. It's awesome. Awesome driving. I will definitely do it again. We took four days. We stopped in uh, Des Moines, Iowa, Denver, actually Brick, Breckenridge, Colorado, Dillon area. And then we went to Las Vegas and then ended up in San Diego where we spent two weeks uh, just enjoying Southern California up to L.A. Flew home through L.A., got home on um, July 1st. And then Colt from Colt Knows Tech and Colt 459595, as well as Colt's vlogging. He actually came up here for about, uh, I think, eight, nine, ten days, something like that. And we hung out. Uh, and that was a really great way to kick off the summer here at the end of my senior year in uh, in high school. So that's why those three weeks didn't get any videos. Now the rest of it, graduating high school and going out, setting forth to college has been a lot of work. And my desk has been covered in crap for months. And, you know, there hasn't really been that much tech news aside from Retina MacBook Pro, stuff about the iPhone 6, um, which I hope to be covering in its release this fall, as well as the iPad. Uh, let's see, when will that be? Uh, early next year. Uh, at this point. So that's what's going on there. And if you want to see any of that trip, I'm still vlogging every day. I have been making videos every day. I'm on day 587 on this channel, youtube.com slash jrsvlog. That link's down below. Um, lots of stuff going on there. Um, we've had a couple short videos here, but if you go back, there is uh, flying home from, uh, from LA, actually from San Diego to LA and then from LA here. Back to Cleveland. Now most of the time that I usually would have spent making videos here on the tech channel, I've actually been working on a different channel. I'm not sure if I've ever mentioned this here on the tech channel before. It's called E39 Source. If you're into cars, specifically BMWs, I recommend you check it out. I'll leave the link down below. Uh, come on over and subscribe. We're up to 817 now, which is better than I expected. And we've kind of got a community of fellow BMW owners documenting their cars, how-tos, uh, little drive videos with uh, really cool exhaust on this one 2000 M5 here from Andrew. Andrew, beautiful car. Um, we have maybe four E39 M5s. We're working on, uh, we have a 525. We have E46s on the way. Then we have this beautiful 1985 BMW E30 325E. Just did a quick intro video of the car, a little walk around, some information. Uh, very interesting, but if you're at all into cars, we've got, you know, brake pad, how-tos, um, the how to drive a manual video. I don't know if I have uploaded here, but I could. Um, but I've done several things with my cars. I've got videos on the way. I upgraded the taillights to the 2001 Facelift Plus, uh, the, the facelift package for the 2000, for the E39, uh, the Hello Lights. So I've got that on its way. Uh, just little videos like that. And I actually did a lot of work with my with my car. Zay noted it, um, clay barred, all the wax and stuff on the inside. It's beautiful. I'm going to have to make a video of that very soon. But uh, anyways, that's where a lot of my time has gone, into this channel. So check out the link down below. So there's the channel update with what's going on. If you have any video requests that you'd like to have me talk about, please leave me a comment, send me a direct message. 
uh, here on YouTube or a personal message or a direct message on Twitter, twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. Click the little expand thing. All my links are down there. So if you'd like to see anything, go ahead and let me know there. There's not a whole lot going on right now. I said the, the Retina MacBook Pros I have looked at, they're incredible. Um, my problem is the graphics processing, the GPUs that they're putting in those machines are really unable to keep up with the hardware. And the hardware now is a retina display, which I want to say that resolution, I used to know it. It's 2880 by 1800, I want to say. And of course, it's scaled differently. So it actually looks like 1440 by 900. And then you can scale it all the way up with software to the full 1880 by 1200, uh, which is ridiculous. But when you're in a browser, just like I am right now in Safari on Mac Rumors here, if I were to take my, my trackpad or the one on the Mac, and do this. It isn't smooth at all. This is very smooth, probably not on camera. I don't know what the refresh rate is of screen flow here. Um, but on the other Mac, no matter the resolution, it's a little choppy and you can tell it's working hard to do that. And my problem with buying the first generation Retina MacBook Pro is the, uh, the graphics hardware isn't really there yet. Yes, it's incredible, but to drive a display with that many pixels, in full quality is pushing it a little bit. And like generation one of every of anything, any product, they're gonna work kinks out in the next ones. So I'm kind of holding on to that. I'm still using my, my early 2011 15 inch with the SSD, 16 gigs of RAM, the 2.2 quad i7. And trust me, that gets the job done no problem. I got the high res screen and everything. So uh, that's the information with that. I'll do a little bit of a, um, I'll talk about the display a little bit on the Retina MacBook Pro. If you haven't seen one, go to the Apple Store. They're everywhere now. I've seen them in airports already. Um, the display is just like an iPad, an iPhone 4, or an iPhone 4S. Very, very, very high quality. Uh, you get up right to it, and you can kind of see pixels, but it, after using that and then coming back to my early 11, uh, it's kind of like using an iPhone 4 or 4S and then going back to a 3G or 3GS or original generation iPhone. And for the first 10 minutes, it's kind of like, ooh, this screen sucks. And then you get used to it again. But I like it. I just don't think it's quite ready yet. Um, but anyways, it looks like they're shipping quicker now. So that's good. If you want to buy one, you can go go do that. And plus, they're all closed up now. You can't upgrade your RAM. You can't upgrade your SSD. So if you're going to buy one, I would recommend that you buy it with higher specs. Don't cheap out, if you will, and get the 8 gigs of RAM and the smaller SSD because... In a year or two from now, you're going to be kicking yourself that you can't upgrade those components, at least not easily. So um, I'm not going to go on forever here, but that's been the update. I apologize. It's been so long. I hope to be able to push some more content out soon. Leave me some comments, requests. Check out all the crap in the link, bar, link box below, and uh, hopefully I'll talk to you later this week, this upcoming week, the week of the 23rd, in a upcoming video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.